Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to talk about how to trace a color image in Inkscape. Now, if you follow along on my YouTube channel or my blog, which sometimes I post videos before my blog posts, but regardless, um, we have already gone through how to do a basic black and white image trace and now I'm going to go through a color trace, okay? And it gets a little bit more complicated because you want as much detail as possible but you also don't want so much detail that you cannot use this to cut vinyl with your vinyl cutter because that is our end goal. So before I jump in, I just want to pull a little plug in and say if you haven't already, go ahead and click like and subscribe below. Um, I like to provide these videos to teach people how to use free programs like Inkscape to create passive income or just create beautiful pieces of art that they can use to their heart's desire. So hit that like and subscribe button below and feel free to share this with your friends if you feel like it is going to be useful for them. Okay, so let's get right into it. We're going to follow the same process that we followed before by clicking on path trace bitmap, okay? And if you look here in the preview window, it's just showing a black and white image, which is not what we're going for. We're going for separating these colors out so we can get nice, crisp, black outline here so that we can color it in the same way that we colored in the black and white image in the previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on color quanti quantization. We're going to click on multiple scans, colors, and you can drop the colors down and see what changes when you do that. So if I drop the scans down to seven, six, it's going to drop that color up. And if I bring it back up, it's going to put that color back in. I'm just going to leave it at eight and eight. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring the threshold up. And that's just going to create more crisp lines. And basically, when you're in here, depending on how clean your image is, you're going to want to play around with this, okay? And when you think you have it where you want it, just go ahead and click OK. And it's not going to look like anything happened. But when you're done, click out on this window. And what you're going to see is it created. Why did that not go? Oh, there it is. It created. Your traces. By color and you can see the difference in them as I start separating them out. Okay, so all this brown color is stacked together. And then you have this brown color, and there's more of that that's coming through. You have the tannish color. And you have that other tannish color, and then the gray color. So depending on what outline you're looking for, you can go back and color that in. For the purposes of this, I'm going to go through and delete all of these other files. And I'm just going to drop this guy back in the middle. Okay. So now you have him. And if you want to just cut him out as the outline, you can do that. But um, you probably don't want to do that. So, so what we're going to do now is... We're going to make sure that this is uh, appropriately ungrouped. So you can see this big block right here. Just go to Object, Ungroup, and that's going to ungroup these. That way you can take, this is going to work for me. I don't know why this is being so touchy. Uh... <clears throat> you can take your original image. And you can kind of move him to the side for like a color reference. All right. We're going to bring him back to the middle. And if you want to go ahead and save this as an SVG now, after you delete this part, you can. And it's just going to cut these lines out. 
black and white. Okay, but we're going to take it a little bit further. And I'm going to go ahead and break this path apart by clicking path, break apart. And then I'm going to click on this right here because that's going to highlight the areas that I want to color. And I'm just going to click on this eyedropper. Okay. And try to get these pretty similar to the original. And that's it, you're done. Now I can go ahead and delete this guy and you can see that this one little gray area didn't transcribe over, but I'm not gonna cry about that, okay. Um, one thing that you'll note when you break this apart is that, golly, you have a black background okay and um, you can leave that as is or you can modify it in Silhouette Studio so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring this into Silhouette Studio because that's just what I prefer to work with you can also follow my other video monkey test <clears throat> and you can see how you open these up in other programs. But if you were to take him right now and just click send, you can see that there are some intricate cut lines. You'd have to probably clean it up a little bit. It's like there's a very, very tiny line there. Um, everything else looks pretty good. I'd get rid of that. Other than that, there is some intricate cuts here. so. Um, just keep that in mind when you're cutting with your machine. But what you can do if you want to get rid of some stuff is you can ungroup. And I'm going to get rid of that. And there was a really tiny... Let's see if I can get it while I'm sitting here. It's right there, so... There we go. Now when we go to send, that little red dot's going to go away and that little area is going to go away. So depending on how proficient you are with your cutting machine and your settings, you can get some of these finer lines, but although I don't recommend them, um, it depends on your level of cutting expertise, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. But I just basically wanted to go through how you can create an, an SVG file in Inkscape now and get that into Silhouette Studio. Now keep in mind that if you are planning to import your SVGs from In Inkscape into Silhouette Studio, you do need to upgrade to the Business Edition. Um, you can also upload these in Cricut Design Space, and you don't need any sort of payment upgrade. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for tracing color images and kind of making them your own. You can do this with anything, really. Um, I Personal use, okay. Commercial use, not okay. What I just did. Personal use, okay. Although really not okay because you're stealing. If you can go buy a file from somebody and do what you need to do, then do it. Anytime that you can purchase something from somebody or credit them, please do that. Um, I do not condone copyright or trademark infringement. And I have a ton of videos on copyright and trademark as well as blog posts on that. So 
brush up on your laws. Uh, other than that, again, if you haven't already done so, please click like and subscribe below. That keeps me motivated to keep making these videos so that y'all can learn how to grow your passive income or your design capabilities within free and affordable programs. And if y'all need anything else, feel free to drop me a line. And I hope everybody has a great night. Peace.